Hey, what's up, guys? This is Robot Raptor here with some more Westeros Total War. Uh, let's get right into it. With my fleet attacking, I believe we won that battle. My lord, we are victorious. Um, my shadow's moving. This might have happened in the last episode. I had to re um, take Rosby because I didn't save because I'm dumb. Uh, so that was the only thing that happened that I had to redo. We re retook Rosby. Got a whole bunch of gold, spent it all immediately again. Um, we lost even more men in the second siege of Rosby, so that was a, it was a fail. It was even worse than the before. Probably because I was trying to rush through it. Um, we're being attacked outside the of uh, Haystack Hall. That's suicide to try to fight that battle. So we're gonna retreat. Oh, and there's another huge Renly army. Where are all these people coming from? We can adopt... An Estramont? So this will become my heir. Nah, he's not good enough to be my heir. Stannis and his army of peasants. Ah, boy, I hope we can... I hope we can win that. Admiral Davos... Going to Storm's End. We're going to check out what's happening. Still can't see it. Uh, with our assassin, Goyard Morrington. He looks like a young a young guy. No, we're saving the Stannis assassin to get to King's Landing. Oh, what? King's Landing is under siege by the Tyrells. House Florent? Shouldn't House Florent be under my command? Uh, the faction heir of the Tyrells. Loris. Let's try to assassinate him with a, a shadow. This is Stannis attempting to kill Loris Tyrell right here. Loris Tyrell going for a walk. Stannis is a... S oh, no. Oh, no. My my shadow was seen. Oh, but he made a daring escape. Oh, well. So that was a wasted shadow. Are we at war with the... No, we're neutral with the Tyrells. So we're at war with the Lannisters and the... King's Landing and the Stormlands, and that's it. Huh. Okay, so I don't even... Rosby is in a pretty secure position because King's Landing is going to fall. There's no way they'll be able to defend this army. No way. So... I feel pretty secure with all these castles. Except for maybe there could be a Lannister force over here. But I doubt it. Let's end the turn again. They're sending a princess to go deal with my shadow, it looked like. Oh, here's their siege. We have 119 men, they have 88. This is the one with three generals and one infantry, I think. I hope we can win. All right, so they chose a foggy day, understandably. So my archers aren't gonna be as effective. What do they choose to bring? They have a ram and their generals are hidden in the forest. Okay. Let's have my bowmen front and center. Let's have the mar uh, marines right here. And if they get too close, I'm going to send the cell swords out to go deal with the ram. So let's hope we can uh, take out this ram quickly. Oof. 
if we kill this unit completely, then they won't have any units to besiege me with, I think. I don't think. A good tactic for the Stormlands would be just not to attack me at all, because, I mean, I'm not going to march out. I'm not going to sally out against a heavy cavalry force. That's st stupid. Well, I mean, we'll slaughter these sellsword spearmen. We may actually lose this castle if the ram gets to the gate. If the ram gets to the gate, we're going to lose this castle. But I'm thinking, should we let them into the castle so we can kill a whole bunch of their generals? Like, just have our archers on the walls pelting them? The ram's going to make it to the gate, but this isn't awful. Let's hold our fire on our men. They made it to the wall. Um, let's garrison. Garrison the walls. We're going to try to do as much damage to the enemy um, generals as possible. Graves hiding. The enemy are at the gate. I'm gonna send my cell swords up to the wall. Stand right here so we can continue the boiling oil tactic. Maybe the enemy generals aren't smart enough and they'll stand here at the perfect moment. To arms, General! The enemy's ram has breached the gates! Okay, okay, we can we can salvage this. Yes, they still got burned, and now they're routing. Excellent. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay. Holy Father, save us! Our enemy is in control so in of the castle. So in four minutes, let's see how much damage we can do to these uh, cavalry forces. Let's focus fire on the um, the head general. See if we can kill him. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Excellent. Okay, this might actually work. They've just come into like a killing ground. I'm gonna send my cell swords in just to try to reclaim the center for a second. To get my timing back. To get time back. The enemy is no longer in command of yes, the okay. Oh, this is a, such a cheap tactic. Get up on the walls again. <laughs> All we need to do is run into the center for a second, I think, and the timer might restart. Okay, who's this guy? He's a rainbow cloak. I think he might be a part of the rainbow guard. Well, he's going to be part of the dead guard soon. Oh, one of my... The Marines are out of ammo. Here, focus on the main group archers. Oh, that guy's just eating arrow fire. Are my towers still shooting at him? They've just given up on trying to take, uh... Kill these cell swords. I'm using the cheap tactic the AI uses now. Again, this is the weakness of cavalry in, si in sieges. They can't come up on the walls. So my archers are immune. Should have brought more cavalry. I mean, you should have brought more infantry. Okay, my archers are now out of um, firepower. We have five enemies altogether. 
So what we're gonna do is slow down time. Who did we kill? We killed Ormon Wild so far. Let's attack this guy with my general. Attack that general with my one guy and get my archers to attack this guy. Here we go. This guy should die really quickly. Look how bloody he is. He's taken around like 100 arrows into his body. Oh, he's broken. He may es he's gonna escape probably. Unless we cut him down here. Fighting to the death. Come on, kill him. Yes! There was no cutscene for that for some reason. Enemy general fallen. I think we captured him. That's what that is. Okay, now everyone killed this general. We may, we may lose a lot of men during this fight, but it'll be worth it to hold the city. We've lost 10% of our men and killed 89% of them. But apparently victory seems certain for this general's unit. Let's speed up time a little bit. Come on, this plan was working so well. We can kill him. Okay, one down, two down. Okay, they're broken, fighting to the death. Capture him, capture him. Yes! That was, that was insane. Heroic victory, that's what I like to see. Six of their, I think six of their cell swords managed to escape. That was maybe cheap, but we need to do what we need to do. It's not cheap. It's using it's taking it's using to my advantage what I have. I don't know what I'm saying. Edric Storm. Oh, Edric Storm was in that army. I didn't even get a chance to see his uh um armor. He has the Baratheon armor on. Let's ransom him. Ransom rejected. Well, Edric Storm's now dead. So that army is finished. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come at Haystack Hall. Uh, we're gonna withdraw from this fight as well. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're not fighting this. Fall back or perish. Making camp here. Oh, High Garden's about to take King's Landing. Yep, they took King's Landing. Uh, the House Lannister in the Crown Lands is now gone. Their army turned into a rebel army. Faction destroyed. House Baratheon of King's Landing is now destroyed. So Joffrey, Cersei, Tommen, they're all dead. The uh, the Tyrells are now sitting the Iron Throne. They, they had no claim to begin with, so... I'm not going to sit by and watch them rule my kingdom. We're still neutral. So that's good. So everyone up here is now safe. We're pretty much all safe. We just need to take the Stormlands. Then we'll probably attack the Tyrells. Okay, so things are going really good. We don't need to recruit these guys anymore because the siege has been won. I might, I might as well recruit a couple. Um, the Bowmen doing incredible for me. The MVPs of that fight. What happened to the the huge Renly, uh, the Stormlands army? They're gone. Okay, let's sally out and attack this army. Five to three ratio. Let's attack them. I don't know what happened to that other army. But we're going to take advantage of them leaving. The game just crashed. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um, we'll play a Stannis. I'm going to let the AI control half the army. Maybe that was... Oh, what? Oh, they were hidden. Um...
we're gonna attempt a night attack. We're not gonna be able to have our allies help us, but his allies won't be able to help him. Let's do it. I don't know how they were hidden if they were literally outside our walls, but I'm not gonna question it. Both those armies did not have a general. They just had like the the random guy who they're like, oh, you can be in charge. So their generals aren't good. Pikemen, um, bows, and spearmen. Okay. Yeah, two units of pikemen. So what we're gonna do to counter this is we're gonna have our peasants attack the pikemen, just outnumber them and surround them, hopefully. Our archers will go for the spearmen, and our cavalry will go for the, um, the, well, Stannis will go for the archers. So everyone march out. Stannis, you're going to go over there. Peasants, spread out there. You two can go for the infantry, so you'll be on the right flank, just so I can separate you. And then these guys can also go. Well, these guys can go on the left flank. So they pulled back. We're just gonna form up. Oh, we're under fire. Crap. Where's their archers? In the center. Now in the front. Let's slow it down. Hopefully we don't get hit by these pikemen. Stan is doing a risky move himself. Lance is down. Instantly the bow levy's broken. Pull back. Don't get hit by the uh, pikes. Let's run around the enemy while his bows run. Once they get far enough away, we'll crush them. Now we can use our own arrows and bows and skirmishers to the best of their advantage. We lost a couple guys to arrow fire, but it's not that big of a deal. That should be... Oh, they came back. Okay, well, good thing we were charging. Come on, Stannis, we need to break him again. The pikemen are running, charging at us. So to counter... Oh, sorry. It's like an unspoken rule, but I'm trying not to pause. Get Stannis out of there, get Stannis out of there. We're charging in. Actually, why are we charging in? We don't even have to. Okay, we. Lo I mean, we lost a couple guys because I was. That was an indecisive move right there. But we don't need to charge in. We'll just use our ar archers, like I said. Now chase down those um, bows. Make sure you go around this inf the spearmen. Bows came back. We're gonna crush them again. Uh, skirmish mode on. Want you guys to run away whenever possible. Let's take out these pikemen. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Stannis is dealing with the bows. We're going to focus our arrow fire on this guy now. You guys can deal with that. Surround these pikemen. Go 
hopefully they break. Yep, the pikeman broke. Good. These pikemen were just shooting straight at him. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Uh, two pikemen left. We're gonna pull back. Form another line. These pikemen are now wavering. Getting shot in the back. Oh man, they're just getting torn up. Let's charge these broken pikemen. I don't want any survivors. General unit, the spearmen are untouched at the moment. But without support from the rest of our army, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Here comes the spear throwers running up. But they're about to get pelted. The arrow is just doing massive damage. 26 of them left now. Not much of a pike wall anymore. More like a pike fence. Pike gate. Oh, the uh, spearmen are moving in. Let's, let's be smart about this. Let's be smart. Okay, Stannis, chase down the broken men. Um... Everyone, all the infantry, charge after these spearmen. You guys are skirmish mode, right? So you should run away. Hopefully. Please don't get caught. Run, guys. Run, 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 run. Oh, what? Are they all going to make it? What? No, no, no. Get out of there. They're right behind you. Run. No, one's, one's going to die. Oh, what? We killed one. We killed an enemy. Get out of there. That was a heroic, heroic kill. I've never seen anything like that. Um... Okay, let's charge the enemy. <laughs> They've broken. Now we're going to kill them all. Kill them all. Give them the option to bend the knee. Join my ranks, and if not, we'll cut you down. I wish, I wish you could, like, be, like, if you captured, if you captured a relatively, like, healthy unit or a, um, like, a mercenary group unit, sword, you should be able to be, like, oh, I'll pay you, like, ten gold and just switch sides to me. Oh, their general just died. Nameless general. He completely failed. He should have... Should have seen that he was outmatched by Stannis. So I think this should break the siege, hopefully. And then my extra units can come in. Yeah, 47 men on our side lost. Killed 340 of them. Zero survivors. expect nothing less of Stannis.